in YouTube. Thought I'd put out a quick uh, chart video because I haven't done one in a while, and we'll see what price is doing now. It's going down. I've seen a lot of opinions and a lot of people's views on what they think's happening, so I thought I'd take a quick look and give my two pence on what we're looking at. So, for me, the biggest thing, just starting the weekly, was obviously we're looking at three weeks ago now, so we had the spike up. This candle here, as we can see, price has continued to go down and fill that wick. Now, the, the important things to notice on the weekly, so there's a few things. First of all, we've got this structure here, so you've got that sort of double bottom area here. We've also got this sort of structure lining up here. So this zone is what I'm sort of watching. Now, for the week, if the weekly candle closes below this zone, below these wicks, then yeah, we could see some lower price action. Um, where would that be? Well, for me, the most logical place is going to be around 28, 29 cents, give or take. So back down to this sort of zone here. So you can see, looking left, we've got these wick touches, you know, a lot. I mean, if you really want to bring it down, so we've got complete confluence there. If you see that, sort of 28, close to 27, give or take. So let's have a quick look at the daily and just see what is going on. Um, and again, what I've been watching is this uh, candle wick here. So what I've been looking at is this wick here, okay? So this candle, if we see this daily candle, in my opinion, of course, it, I could be completely wrong, but if this candle here closes, so if we see it close below this wick, that would constitute a lower low, lower close, um, which could signify that, yes, there is some more downside to come. We can see these EMAs are starting to get closer together, which again is more of a sign that things could be going down. What we have had up here, again, is a double top, just where price has failed to break. And again, you can just see where the wicks have come. Obviously, that was our excitement before X Rapid was announced and obviously swell and you know price stabilized around this this point this area and it has dropped so we've gone from sort of moving sideways to really nice and a bit more move a bit more of a move to the downside but as you can see on the daily we've got all this structure here as well so we are in an interesting place at the moment um on the four hour so on the four hour Look at that candle, see? So that area, this daily candle close, we have had a lower low, lower close on the four hour. Now price is pulling back up into the eight EMA. So as you can see here, what tends to happen when you're in a momentum, if we respect the eight EMA, price moves down. If we respect, we move down. Um, so we will see what happens. I'm not really that bothered because again, this is just day-to-day -day movements, week-to-week -week movements. We are still just in the early doors of what is to come. So could it go down? Yeah, certainly it could. Could it go up? Again, it could. Um, other things that might be on my radar, just going to have a quick look. If I go on to the daily, um, because again, these things tend to happen when more traders start trading certain things, um, certain patterns might appear in the structure that we're seeing. So I'm just having a quick look here just to see what we could have. And what's this measurement here? Okay. Well, I don't know if there is a advanced pattern in here. It could be a back pattern looking at these weeks. If we, you know, that's just hype. But these points here, this could be, if I put in the 50%, if this, that's touched on me, it could be a back pattern. So, what you normally find with a bat pattern, let's just turn the blue on. Again, it's not an exact science, but typically price will push up, retrace, hits the 50% fib, doesn't close higher than the previous high, and then what you'll then see is price come down to the 886. So looking at everything here, the 886 puts us in around 29 cents. So I wouldn't be surprised to see something like we hit 89. Uh, 29 cents and then the price goes up so the pattern um, is something along the lines of this again advanced patterns it's a uh, not exact science it's just 
confluence and again that puts us down at a structural level so uh, we'll see what happens I will pop this idea out on trading view just anyway just so it's there and I'll come back to it in a couple of weeks and we'll see how prices play date but for the time being hope you enjoy that little insight into what I feel is going on but again you know don't lose your mind it's just what happens the market moves up and down you know this is a gift if you're in it for years and years this these prices don't really matter so enjoy your evening enjoy your viewing and uh 